Welcome to today's repair video showing the timing belt replacement on a Ford 2.0 liter ZTEC engine. I will show this process on a 2003 Ford Focus. I will be using the Gates Timing Belt Kit TCK294A. This is a complete timing belt kit with tensioners and idler pulleys. Pulleys in this kit covers models with or without lower idler pulley dependent on model years. Instructions in this kit identify pulley installation. To perform this repair, you must have the two special service tools to correctly set the crank and cam alignment. Let's start by removing the coolant degas reservoir. You will not have to drain the cooling system. Next, we will start by removing the upper timing belt cover bolts. From underneath, remove the front lower water shield. Place a forward jack under the oil pan to support the engine. Now we can remove the front engine mount and mounting studs. With the dry belt still installed, this is a great time to loosen the water pump pulley bolts. Remove the upper timing belt cover. Remove drive belt and upper idler pulley. With the drive belt removed, finish removing the water pump pulley bolts and pulley. You can lower the floor jack to remove the pulley.
Next you will need to remove the front engine support bracket. With the timing belt now accessible, you can remove the valve cover. With the valve cover removed, rotate the engine to compression stroke on cylinder 1. Loosen the timing belt tensioner bolt and rotate tensioner adjustment with a 6 mm Allen wrench to loosen tension. Next, remove the upper timing belt idler pulley to remove the timing belt. The crankshaft timing mark on the balancer should align with the casting Remove the crankshaft bolt and balancer. Now we are ready to set the crank alignment. Remove bolt for timing alignment located behind the catalytic converter on the lower rear of the engine block. Install the crank timing alignment pin.
and lower timing cover. With the crank alignment pin installed, rotate the engine until it stops against the timing pin. Now you can install the new timing belt, lower cover and balancer. Recheck alignment marks on the balancer to verify proper position. Well that completes part one of this repair. Be sure to stay tuned for part two, reassembly. Don't forget to rate and comment, and thanks for watching.